Stimulant side effects and how to manage them. Stimulants, such as methylphenidate and amphetamines, may be extremely beneficial in helping people with ADHD. However, as with all medications, they may cause some side effects. These side effects are listed here, and in this video, we will be discussing how to reduce these side effects with proper management techniques. To start with, headaches are a quite common side effect when starting stimulants. However, they should resolve within one to three weeks after starting the medication. In the meanwhile, taking acetaminophen or Tylenol can help to reduce headaches caused by stimulants. Secondly, insomnia can occur with these stimulant medications, as they function by causing an increase in the amount of norepinephrine and dopamine stimulation in the brain. This side effect can be managed by avoiding the administration of this medication in the afternoon, evening, and nighttime. Ideally, avoid administering doses after 2 p.m. if insomnia occurs. Alternatively, switching to a shorter acting stimulant may also reduce the duration of these side effects. Decreasing the afternoon dose is also a potential option, and if none of these techniques work, sleeping medications can be added on to treat insomnia. Reduced appetite resulting in subsequent weight loss may also occur with stimulants. This can be managed by providing the medication with meals and providing larger meals for breakfast and bedtime when the effects of the medication are lowest. Additionally, providing supplemental meal replacement shakes such as Ensure and Boost may also help. Rebound hyperactivity is also a side effect that may occur. To specify, this means that once the effects of the medication have worn off, hyperactivity may increase significantly. This can be managed by using a long-acting formulation of a stimulant so that the effects of the medication last longer. Adjusting the dosing times of the medication so that the effects do not wear off during work and school may also be beneficial. Alternatively, if there is still rebound hyperactivity, despite being on a long-acting formulation, Adding more short-acting doses to supplement the period of time where the medication has worn off may also help prevent rebound hyperactivity. The last side effect I want to talk about is stunted growth in growing children. There is some evidence, although controversial, that stimulants can cause an approximately 2 cm reduction in height. However, this side effect is shown to not be permanent and this height is regained once the drug is stopped. Thus, this side effect can be managed using drug holidays. In other words, not administering the medication when it is not needed will alleviate the stunted growth. For instance, stopping the drug in children when they are on summer holiday.